Hey Scrappers, who's here again? Alright, so this is the episode you've been waiting for, a lot of you have been waiting for anyway. Uh, we're going to start processing um, gold fingers for gold recovery. So, um, first we're going to start off by saying that um, this is not an instructional video. Um, please don't do what you're about to see at home. Um, definitely, if, if this is something you're interested in, do lots of research on it, and then decide you know, if this is safe enough for you. Um, so let's start off with uh, what we're going to need to start. Alright, so to start, we're going to need a um, tempered glass container, or you could use plastic, it's fine. Um, I like using uh, coffee pots because they're very easy to come by, um, and for other types of gold recovery, uh, particularly using uh, acid and heat to uh, recover from gold pins, uh, these come in very handy as well. You don't want to use any other kind of glass besides tempered glass or heat resistant glass. Um, so we've got this. You're going to need your gold fingers, neatly trimmed. You want to make sure that there is no solder remaining on them. So if you see that, you should absolutely remove it first. All right. So this is um, quite frankly, I don't remember where this came from, uh, but it's the same type of material that we're going to be working with. It's uh, copper that is, sorry, uh, it's gold that is stuck to a circuit board um, by a, a copper, a thin copper layer. So we're going to put this stuff inside our pot here. Make sure it goes in there kind of loose because you want the acid to be able to contact all the surfaces. Alright, so we have our gold fingers inside here. Uh, we are going to be using muriatic acid. Uh, definitely read the MSDS sheet on that. And before you use that, protection first. I'm gonna make sure you're wearing some rubber gloves. I also want to make sure you're doing this in a very well ventilated area, uh, preferably outdoors. Um, I'm doing this inside to start, but I'm gonna bring it right outside and let the, uh, the first few hours um, work in. Um, again, we're going to use muriatic acid, 31.45%, and hydrogen peroxide. Now, when you're processing um, gold fingers, this solution can be used almost indefinitely if well taken care of. Uh, specifically, if you make sure not to have any foreign metals in there besides copper. Yes, we're going to start off with the acid. You want to pour in just enough to cover. So in this case, we have 200 milliliters. And to that, you're going to want to add 100 milliliters of uh, hydrogen peroxide. The fumes from this will start to get pretty intense. So what you're going to want to do is stir that around a little bit. It's going to start to turn a nice emerald green color and that means that it's dissolving the copper. Now the first few hours of this reaction are going to be the most uh, prolific, so this is the time to move it outdoors. This has been sitting for about three hours now. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And you can already start to see in there, um, well it's kind of hard to see. You can already start to see in there that some of the foils are starting to separate and float around in the solution. So, alright, so here's the next morning. You can see that there's some uh, foils floating around in the water. You can see some of the fingers have the foils are coming off. So that's a good sign. It's just working. Uh, I just add a little bit more peroxide to uh, get it back to green. And uh, we're going to leave it alone again for a little while. Alright, so we've got the um, the acid mix in here. Uh, for the most part, most of the uh, 
Most of the gold foils are off, however, for the, for the sake of the, this video and just showing how it's done, uh, I'm not going to wait until all the foils are off. Um, normally you'd let it soak in there for, this is uh, day two, um, so probably by day three or four, most of them will be off. <coughs> could take more time, could take less. Um, all right, so next what we need is you know, a container, uh, plastic or glass funnel, and coffee filter. What you want to do with the filter is you want to lay it flat, fold it over, fold it over again. And then open it up, stick it in there. You want to spray down with a little bit of water so that it sticks to the side. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to try and pour off the solution um, without getting any gold in there if possible. Bottom there, you can see some foils that have detached that are sitting on the bottom. <coughs> now this solution can be reused fairly, fairly indefinitely. Um, the way to kind of uh, recharge it, um, if you want to get some of the copper out, is just stick a, like a stainless steel butter knife in there uh, and let it set for a couple of days. All of the uh, copper in the solution will stick to it. Uh, then you can pull it out, rinse it, and you got copper. All right. So now that most of the solution is drained, um, you can see in there. You may have some gold foils stuck to the side. That's quite all right. We'll get those out shortly. All right. So now, I'm going to take our used solution and pour it off here. I've got a jug of solution that's been used already. Alright, so now we've got this. I don't know if you can see at the bottom some nice gold there. See that color shining at the bottom? Pour that in. Oh, try not to let that happen. Pull out these uh, these fingers here. It works better with a pair of tweezers, um, but you're gonna see like some of these pieces will still have a little bit of gold on them. You can just spray them off a little water. It's important that you do this into a separate bucket um, so that you don't dilute your working formula too much. Container to put the clean fingers in. Now, on some of these, uh, all the gold may not be off. That's okay. Just spray off what you can and then stick them in for your next batch. We've taken all of the uh, fingerboards out. Just gonna dump the remaining solution through the filter. You can already see there's a nice bit of gold at the bottom there. Now keep in mind this is these are gold foils. It's not uh, it's not 24 karat gold. Um, it is going to be a mixed carrot. Um, going to be foils that are 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and all the way up. So this is not pure gold. So you just need to keep that in mind. This is just the recovery process, not the refining process. The refining is, is a bit different. That's where you take out any impurities in there. 
Right, now best practice, what you're going to want to do, um, you see how this water is a little bit blue? Yeah, that's because there's still copper in there. So what you want to do is you want to run this through. You want to run your foils through the muriatic acid again um, to help get rid of any other copper that might be on there. All right. And then rinse it well with water to uh, dilute any remaining acid that may be on it. Just spraying all the gold foils off the sides of the, uh, the filter paper here. All right, so from that handful of fingerboards that, um, that we put in there, we come up with um, a little bit of gold. So take a look here. And there it is. And these are all your your gold foils. Okay, so once you've rinsed all these, um, and the, the water comes out clear each time, um, now you can just let them air dry, um, and then brush them to the middle, and add them to the rest. All right. All right, so um, that's one way of uh, removing the gold from the um, um, fingerboards. Uh, there are other ways. Um, there are some great videos on the on the web uh, where people use um, like nebulizers or small air pumps to deliver the oxygen into the muriatic acid, as opposed to adding hydrogen peroxide. Uh, it keeps the solution constantly fresh, so you're not having to check it and stir it as much. Um, there's all kinds of other great techniques. That um, there's one great video uh, where a guy has a system of a couple of buckets uh, where he's drilled small holes in the bottom, uh, so um, the gold flakes settle to the bottom, so you don't have to pick up each individual fingerboard constantly and and you know, spray off all the remaining gold. Um, so there you have it. That's one method. Um, keep in mind that it's you're not going to get a whole hell of a lot of gold. It takes a lot to really equal anything. Uh, this is probably going to be maybe a gram, maybe two grams. I had some really old boards in there, but you know, we'll see when it's all melted. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one. So join us next time when we scrap a urinary catheter. Stop! Don't go anywhere! Comment. Say something. I want to hear from you. I want to know if you think I'm doing something great, I'm doing something bad, what I can do better. All comments are great. Make a suggestion what you want me to scrap next. And see you on the next video.